Guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be heading over to my buddy Jacob's place to install some carbon fiber parts on his car. Uh, for those of you guys OG subscribers, you would know that I used to film his car. I think he has a 2013 um, Ford Mustang GT. So pretty cool. Uh, it was featured in the car a while back. And let's see, start up the car. While my car is warming up, uh, basically, like I said, we'll be installing some parts on this car. Uh, carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber mirror covers, I think, and carbon fiber deck lid. Uh, he will also be redoing his tire lettering, so that's pretty cool. So let's just head there right now and check it out. So just reached Jacob's place. And it's Jacob. Hey, this how's it going? 2013, right? 2012. 2012, sorry. So uh, a long time ago, I shot the car. I think it's been like a year now, Probably maybe. a little more than that. So... The last time, I don't think the lip was there yet, um, when I shot it though, uh, the wheels are different for sure. Mm -hmm. He already had that carbon fiber wrap. The car's a little dirty right now because Jacob said the car hasn't really been driven since November. Yep. So um, the main thing we're going to do with this video is install a few carbon fiber parts. So we're going to start with the carbon fiber hood. So pretty excited to see how this turns out. We're going to take off the stock hood first. and. The first few things we got to do is remove this uh, lining. So basically the windshield wiper uh, pipe right there, the holes is just going inside. So we're going to remove this first. It's just using like a flat tip screwdriver or you can use your fingers to pry it out. Um, unclip the holes and then it should be just two, I believe, 10 millimeter bolts here. And then socket should come right off. on looking really good so whenever you install an aftermarket hood you definitely want to make sure that the alignment here the gap on the left side and the right side is pretty even so after a few times we managed to get it even so the hood is looking so aggressive all right so the next thing we're gonna do is install tie lettering so basically we got the kit from Threadwear. seems like we're gonna put on the is needle uh, needle and both needle anvil so here's the tie lettering so there's a few ways to do it um, I know in a previous video Marco did the tie lettering pen where you just kind of trace it on good and bad you know good thing is it's cheaper the bad thing is you have to kind of touch it up once in a while because you know it fades and stuff so with the tie lettering good and bad as well um, the good thing is it's you know it'll stay on pretty good if you apply it on correctly the bad thing is it's just more expensive so in here it comes with the actual stickers so they're kind of like rubber material um, comes with the glue comes with sandpaper so right now what jacob's doing is he's just um you know washing down the tire making sure that it's good uh, it previously did have tire lettering on it so he's just peeling it off uh, we're gonna make sure it's nice and clean use some alcohol pad you know sand it down make sure it's really good before we stick it on Alright, so right now that Jacob already went ahead and cleaned it, I'm going to just sand it. So make sure the wet sand. So they provided some sandpaper here. Let's see, this is 150 grit sandpaper, so it's pretty rough. So there are many different kinds of sandpaper you can use. Um, the higher the number, the more rough it is. Sorry, the higher the number, the more smooth it is. So for 150 grit sandpaper, it's because these tires are pretty rough. So you always want to wet sand it. So you dip it in water. And you can go ahead and just start sending it. So right now that we're done with sending it down, Jacob is just using some uh, soap detergent. Just uh, wipe it down, make sure it's clean, clean off all the grease. I'm going to wipe it down with another microfiber towel, make sure it's all clean. And then 
we are going to use some um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, to make sure that everything's dry. Let it, you know, dry up before applying the tire lettering. Now we're just going to use the rubbing alcohol, just to apply it on the surface that we are going to stick the tire lettering on. So just make sure to apply it and leave it for a couple minutes to let it dry. These are the tire lettering. So the material is rubber. I know some tie lettering are pretty cheap. It's just stickers, but this is actual rubber. It's way better. And then they provided an adhesive glue that's um, meant for rubber on rubber. So the last time around, whenever you applied them, how long do you let it dry? Um, I let them dry maybe about... With some pressure, I guess. Yeah, you with the pressure, it only took a couple of seconds to dry. Okay. So I would, less than a minute while you're holding pressure, it would dry. Okay. So yeah, definitely, it's fairly fast. So we'll get to putting it on. You're gonna put the uh, invo or needle. Looks on like first. it's gonna be the needle first. Needle first. Just trying to figure out it's what would the be the best way to put it. You just gotta kind of wipe them down. So we're now just using the, uh, I guess, soap and water. Soap and water just to rub down the tie lettering, so that any dirt and grime just gets off it before we put it on. So right now we are just using the glue, applying the glue onto the tire lettering. Side down, so it's really good. So needle on the bottoms, invo on the top. So right now, just left to do this one. Just put needle on it, and we should be good for this side. Okay, so we are done with the carbon fiber hood install. All right, so we also finally got the tie lettering done on one side at least. We'll wait till tomorrow to do the other side, but for now, it looks really good. So. Leave a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.